Hey, my name is Kelsey Sirwa and I am an Olympic gold and silver medalist in the sport of ski cross. So I grew up skiing at Big White Ski Resort, actually started in my parents' backpack before I could walk and then graduated to a leash. Uh, I got involved with the Nancy Green racing program with the club there when I was about six years old and went all the way through to uh, the national development team, uh, racing around red and blue gates left and right against the clock. When I was 19, I decided to switch to ski cross in the aspiration of going to the Olympics and representing Canada at a home games. And I mean, I've been persistent and have struggled through a lot of injuries, a lot of ups and downs, um, but very proud to come through the sport and achieve great success. So growing up, I participated in every sport imaginable, and I have my parents to thank for that. Uh, all forms of dance, school sports, track and field, volleyball, basketball, you name it, I did it. And I actually feel that that's what gave me the advantage, I guess, in switching over from traditional alpine skiing onto this new sport of ski cross where you're navigating your way through rollers and banks and off jumps uh, alongside three other people. So, you know, sports skills are fundamental skills and they really help me uh, gain the success that I've achieved today. So after winning the gold medal, everyone asks, you know, what's next? What are your dreams? Uh, so for me, I've always valued the importance of balancing school with my athletic career. So right now, actually, I'm attending UBC Okanagan in Kelowna. And then come December 21st, I'll be pulling out of the start gate for my first World Cup of the season out in Inakin San Candido in Italy. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to bring my best self to every day and, and still compete on the World Cup and also have the opportunity to give back to the next generation of um, ski cross racers. So I feel very fortunate to have the opportunity to represent POW Canada, so protect our winters in regards to climate change. So this is all about just at an individual level, you and I making changes uh, that help support you know, a healthy climate, uh, reduce plastic, things like that, reduce emissions, um, you know, so we can continue to enjoy accessing these mountains uh, and skiing as part of our lifestyle. So standing on the podium, sure, it's just one person standing up there, but you have to appreciate that it's a whole community of individuals that help get that one person up there. Um, for me, it, it's an unsurmountable number of people that got me there in supporting me through injuries, through victory, through defeat. But, you know, my, my parents, my entire team, our entire medical support staff, uh, my teammates, Britt and Georgia, 100% were huge in giving me the confidence to come back time and time again after so many injuries. Uh, my partner, Stan, it's funny because we're here at the Toronto Ski Show and I see his pictures throughout everywhere, um, although he's not here. But uh, yeah, you know, just, just getting after it in, in that it wasn't just me that, you know, was standing up there at the Olympics. It was everyone who touched my life and, and made it possible for me to get there. So thanks, guys. So my slogan or my theme for this entire year has been the only story that matters is the one that you tell yourself. So, you know, no matter what happens to you, just reframe it in a positive way to see it working for you rather than against you. And you'll really be surprised how this changes your outlook on your situation, on life around you, um, but just makes things really, really positive. All right, so I have my Olympic medals here. Um, second place was from Sochi in 2014. And I'm really proud of this medal because I battled through a few injuries and actually got injured earlier that season. So had to miss a bunch of the races. So showed up to the Olympics, definitely not as a favorite um, and not physically as 
strong as my competitors, but I mean, it just goes to show how much you're able to accomplish when you put your mind to something. Uh, coming second behind my teammate, Marielle, was incredible. Um, but I told my parents right away that, you know, I guess I'm going to have to go for another Olympics to change the color. Um, as my grandfather Cliff says, you know, there's something about gold that's just the right color. Uh, so again, I, I went after it, pursued my dreams for another four years, and very happy that it translated into this beauty. So you can catch all the action both on the Ski Cross World Cup circuit and the Alpine World Cup circuit uh, on CBC Sports. Uh, thanks Alpine Canada for supporting our dreams. Um, but this is Kelsey tuning out and thank you so much for your time and for listening to me.